a law in my members warring against the law of my mind. Romans chapter 8, verse 23, as we continue our thoughts concerning the conflict between the carnal man and the spiritual man. And of course, uh, those words that we spoke of last uh, or yesterday on the broadcast where the apostle Paul said, oh, wretched man that I am. It talks about there's a, there's a desire in my heart to do good, but then there's something else that causes me to do wrong. And there's that conflict between my spiritual man and my carnal man. But he uses the expression, he says, warring against the law of my mind. Now, this tells me that the mind is the battlefield that causes us to come to the right conclusions in our lives concerning the spiritual and the carnal. And it reminds me of what he said in Romans chapter 12. And to keep in mind that as he gives us these wonderful words in chapter 12, this is after chapter, chapter 8. And let me remind you what he says in chapter 8 after he's been through all of this where he's dealing with this conflict between the spiritual and the carnal. He comes to chapter 8 and he says, there is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. But now, chapter 12, he says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is, he says, your reasonable service. Now listen to this, verse 2, chapter 12. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Why or how? By the renewing of your mind. Now, I interpret this this way in my simplified uh, self. I just simply s interpret this as saying, hey, you got a battle going on in your mind concerning what is right and what is wrong and what is the best for you and what is the best for your spiritual man. And you've got a choice to make. And you're going to, Make these decisions based upon what? Your carnal passions and desires or your understanding that if you lean yourself into the Spirit of God and allow the Spirit of God to lead you, He'll always lead you into the right things. He'll lead you into all truth and you'll have life and life more abundant than Jesus talks about. And it's a, it really is a battleground. But it's a decision that we all have to make. Do we want to bring our mind into subjection? Or are we just going to allow our minds to rule and to reign and allow it to literally bring destruction into our lives, both physically and spiritually? So he says, by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is the acceptable will of God. That's a huge, huge decision. But uh, life so often comes down to choice. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 